This one really took off. I just love that one. And this one we thought was dead, but I kind of kept babying it because it still had life in it. And look at that. I just finished mulching these. I haven't watered them because I don't want to have them messing all over the place when Joe takes them in the house. But that is the prettiest mulch. I didn't mulch the big aloes. They're really putting all this one. Look at that. It's got some about three or four baby offshoots there. This one really took off. I just love that one. And this one we thought was dead, but I kind of kept babying it because it still had life in it. And look at that. It came back. It actually winds around in there, but the mulch kind of hides some of it. But I just love the way that mulch sets things off. So, so you didn't see me mulch them, but they got mulched. <laughs> this one, at some point, probably next spring, I will separate it into two different ones. Because there's actually, actually there's a, two of them there now. Or it looks like I, I could divide it right in the middle. When I was... I'm going to go sit down. All our little babies are still here. The dog, he's peeing on everything. And our frogs, I haven't got them really rearranged. I need to clean the table. Bobcat just went by. Holy cow. I did not upload one for today, Monday, because, and I'm still, it's still twinging. I did something to my back. I don't know what's causing it. I thought it was that hard chair, which I think was a big problem when it happened last time because that kind of sling seat in that wheelchair is a big help. And since we don't use the wheelchair much anyway, except like when I go to the hospital. Oh, so that's really, Joe, he, I can't show you all of Joe's wonderful plantings because he's had to dig them up. We didn't know, the neighbors told us that those are the kind that you have to dig them up each year and save the bulbs and then replant the bulbs the next year. But they were so pretty. So Joe did dig up the bulbs. He took the tops off and dug up the bulbs and he's storing them in the basement. Oh, I think it's just the shape of the swing. It just feels so, so good. Oh. I am just so proud of, of at least two or three of those. The aloes, they just do their thing. <laughs> as long as you give them a drink once in a while, they just do their thing. And they overgrow. That one on, that's in that tricycle, <laughs> it needs an even bigger pot. But I looked into harvesting and and getting the gel out of them because it is a it's more of a gel it's hard um once you get all the sap stuff out and they said it really stinks bad and so you have to soak it in water two or three times until all that stuff is drained out and the smell has quit smelling I don't want to do that much work. <laughs> I just don't want to do that much work. So I'll keep the big one for a while and when it's completely outgrown that pot, I'll probably toss it and use some of the babies to start over. <laughs> Same with the other big one. Because they do grow up fast. They grow up fast and they grow up plenty. Oh. 
I know some of our neighbors said that they had to ditch some of theirs because they were just getting so big. If we had the kind of weather where we could plant them outside year round, I wouldn't worry about it, but we just don't. So, but no, I'm, I'm happy. Joe's been doing a lot of the watering and one of the reasons I mulched is because once they were out of sight over on that coffee table in the house, I just kept forgetting them. I didn't put my teeth in. <laughs> I didn't figure on getting all dressed up because I was going to be doing this kind of stuff, but my teeth I would have put in, but I forgot. Ah, oh, darn. I would keep them in all the time, but when I eat, food gets up under them. And especially like those granola bars, I they're great for chewing, but with a lot of times it'll get like a pebble up under there. Oh, that hurts. But now like I can eat steaks again and <laughs> I can eat all kinds of goodies that I couldn't eat before that require a good amount of chewing. They are a blessing. I did make, uh, I started some pumpkins and witch hat for decorations, so I'll just show you that when it's done. So I'll just show you a lot of this stuff when it's all hung up and done or placed. And because there's, Joe got a, uh, got that plate glazed, the one with all the fruit, and he got a holder for it so we can hang it up. I really like this holder. And so eventually we will get the house in order. <laughs> it is just so beautiful out here today. If you could smell this wonderful air, the leaves are turning, but they turn a little slow because it's not quite, I mean, it's fall, but it's that time of fall in Nebraska when you can have freeze, freezing temperatures or very low temperatures one week, and the next week it's nice and in the 80s like this, so it's still beautiful and the leaves are turning. It's when they get kind of half turned that I really like it. You get kind of shades of yellow and shades of green, you know, and in between while it's turning. And like I said before, <laughs> have a really good day and wish somebody well. Give them a high smile and a wave, and take care of yourselves. This stuff, you know, the, with all the COVID and all that that's going around, just take a breather, even just go outside on your porch or uh, if you're in an apartment, your little patio thing. Just get some fresh air if you can. If it's raining too much, then don't. But <laughs> call somebody call a loved one on the phone and just find a way to reach out. Find more positive video videos that people put out and there's so many of them I can't even name. I'll talk to you manana and try to make up a little bit for Monday have my teeth in, maybe show you where things are in the house, and show you my new pumpkins and, uh, and witch hat. I'll be putting them around. Love you. Subscribe, thumbs up, notification bell. Da-ding, da-ding. <laughs>